Betsy. Welcome back to my channel. This is week five of Mini Kit Monday, and I'm using some things that I haven't used in a while. That is my Bombay Black India ink, and it makes these huge black drops, and when they dry, they are kind of a glossy color. It's kind of cool. And of course, I have to use my scissors to get the little uh, sprinkles of it, but it does give really nice big black drops. There's are already some pink um, speckles on there, and that is the Colorings Pink Stilettos. I already let those dry, and now I was adding the black because I felt like it needed something. Well, I wanted to use up a lot of the scraps that I had. And so I chose to do a grid pattern and just doing layering one on top of the other. And as you can see, I had showed you the distressed ink that I put around all the edges of this paper and all of the squares are uh, distressed. I used my scissors to roughen up the edges and then I just layered them as you can see. I was trying to go through all of my stuff, trying to use up all the little bits and pieces as much as I could because I was thinking that this was going to be my last page, but oh yes, there's a bonus. So after this video will be my bonus page and that will be my last page for the month. Um, I believe I had used all of the paper. Uh, tomorrow there will be a video showing everything that I had left over. And this will be the first time that I've done that. And I haven't been very good about telling you guys that I'm doing this as a group effort. There are several of us that are doing the Mini Kit Monday. There's Becky Bidding. There's Kathy Feigl. There's Daisy Nehmeyer. And there's myself. And next month, we are doing this all over again. And we are going to have Dolly Boyd. She is going to be joining us for August. I am so excited. All right. So the family that you see there is painted black. And I had used a delusion of the black marble, you know, the, you know, the paint uh, that comes in the pot. And you know me, I like to let things dry naturally. So whenever I painted this, I let it dry overnight. And you know what I did? Uh, what I forgot to do? I forgot to get the dot for the eye and paint that. So you could probably see that on the leftover sheet, you know, the negative. Uh, it's still there. <clears throat> so I ended up getting a, um, a little dot from... Um, Oh, what are those called? <laughs> the little things that I don't like. Um, the enamel dots. Yes. So I had a big stash of enamel dots and I pulled one out and it's not even black. So don't look too close. I mean, it's close enough. It's a really dark green, but um, it works. It looks like a dot. It looks like it's black and, and I'm going with it. So I was trying to, you know, use the same colors on the squares again, just like I did on the previous page, but uh, and it didn't work out exactly. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and just make it as pleasing to the eye as I could. That summertime is from that sticker sheet. Oh, I almost used up the whole sticker sheet and you'll see that in tomorrow's video. I was very proud of myself. Uh, as many stickers as I used that, that uh, totally surprised me that I could use as many stickers that I did. And the traveling is from the fonts that I have been using. And I'm already, those are pretty much used up. Those are from Bella Boulevard. I got those at Tuesday morning and I'm having to do some little, um, you know, Frankenstein, you know, kind of piecing some things together. And that is what the the pound sign by the family, the word family. I'm going to use that to, you know, make the dash in the, for the A and the F I need to make into an E. And um, as I was looking at this, it seems like that I forgot to either turn the camera on towards the end of this, or I'm not, or I just lost some at the end. So I'm sorry if this cuts off short. Um, I don't show you the sequins that I put on. The sequins that I used are the gray, and those are the ones that I've been using quite a bit this month. They are from Pretty Pink Posh. They're in two different sizes. And I do use, um, 
I've mentioned this before, the distress collage medium to glue the sequins on. And then for most things, I use my um, ATG gun. And then for the, you know, like the little rubber element that says uh, family time or even the chipboard, I use my uh, wet glue, which is actually the Scotch quick dry or the, oh goodness, I'm sorry. I keep calling it by the wrong name. It's called tacky glue now. And I have it in my um, needle nose uh, bottle, which I love. We're getting towards the end and I want to say thank you for watching this and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. There are still shots and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <music>